What's the matter with your life? Why you gotta mess with Shemegan? Girl, it is Sharita. Are you looking out your window? Please go ahead and take a look. Yeah, girl. I seen her over there. Yeah, she got herself a white man. Sure, you right. Yeah. You know, it is so sad when you see a sister selling out like that. Can't find herself a good brother. There are plenty of brothers out there on the grind. And she got to find herself a white man. She is selling out. Mm -hmm. Girl, I know. Pimping herself out. She ain't nothing but the white man. So now, she's going to live with some baby or something. I know. I know. You can't take her nowhere. Yeah, I gotta go get my baby daddy. He just got out. He fresh out. Mm, girl, he got himself lined up a job. Gonna be working at the Wendy's. Girl, he got a job at the Wendy's? Oh, yeah, J-O-B. About to make that cheddar, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Step up from the gas station. Yeah. I'll see you. Well, I'm gonna let you go, girl. All right, peace. O-M-G. Becky? <laughs> oh, my God, this is Amber. Oh, yeah. Do you have toodles? I was looking, like, everywhere, and I couldn't find her. I was so worried. Oh, you were walking her for me? Oh, great. Put her on. <laughs> Hi, toodles. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. Mommy's little boy. Oh, you said you. Mommy loves you. Could you put Aunt Becky back on the phone, please? Thank you, toodles. Mommy loves you. OMG. So... Becky, when you walked out, did you, like, see that couple? <laughs> I think the guy was from, like, uh, Saskatchewan or somewhere else in Africa. Yeah. The girl, oh, yeah, totes. Uh, her hair, really, dye job. <laughs> anyway, so they are going to have, like, the cutest. Little Negroid babies. I mean, really? Oh, those little caramely skin babies. Those little chocolate drops. <gasps> okay, well, bring Toodles back. Yeah? Okay, great. Go talk to them. They're so cute. Okay, bye. When this girl gets a weave, she's denying her race. When this girl gets a weave, she's enhancing her beauty. When this girl gets a weave, she's being fake, selling out. She wants to be white. But when this girl gets a weave, she's mixing things up. What's the difference? What's the difference between this and this? Drastic they may seem, but one gets told that being tan is beautiful. It's where it's at. Tan skin is all the rage. While the other one, that one gets told that they're trying to be white. Or they're trying to deny who they are. But don't you think they're really pretty much the same? They're both trying to change the color of their skin. So what about these two? I bet you're wondering what those all have in common. What they are, are double standards. We at It's a Swirl World despise double standards. What's good for the goose should be good for the chicken. Or whatever the saying is. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be tackling these double standards and maybe a few others on our next show entitled Double Standards. So, join us tomorrow. We are less than, or a little bit less than 24 hours away from our next live show. If you're subscribed to our channel, you can check us out at 6 p.m. That's Pacific and Mountain Standard Time, 8 p.m. if you're Central, and 9 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. So make sure you check us out. And we're interactive still, so we're on Twitter, we're on Tumblr, and we're on Facebook. You can also leave your questions, or if you have some double standards that you want to mention or think that we should mention on the show, you can leave them in the comments down below. You can also leave them in the comments during the show as well. So make sure you follow us on one of those mediums so that you can attack double standards with us because we're about to break this ish down. And this isn't a kid-friendly show. So no kids, just adults talking real ish. Remember, tomorrow night, we're less than 24 hours away 
from our third live show entitled Double Standards. Bye, YouTube. What's the matter with your life? Why you gotta mess with mine? Don't keep sweat. I think I could be a rapper. People say that I'm too proper and that I talk like a valley girl, but I think that if I if I put my mind to it, I could be a rapper. Just wait, I'm about to blow. I'm about to blow. Check it. I can't do nothing, girl, without somebody bugging. I used to think that it was me, but now I see it wasn't. They told me to change and call me names, and so I popped one. Of pins are like assholes, and everybody's got one. I never poke my nose where I'm not supposed to. Believe me, it be something that I want, I'm stepping closer. I'm not one for playing hot pole like the hostility 90210 type of hoe. I treat a man like he treats me. The difference between a hooker and a hoe ain't nothing but her feet. So hold your tongue tightly. Wish you could be like me. You're popping all that mess only to stress and despite me. Now you can get with that or you can get with this, but I don't give a shit cause really it's none of your business.